Well, lo and behold, that last video that was shown, we're uh, going through here, along with the boys, the council's actually actually doing some work along here, and they're cleaning out the pool. Beautiful. Rock and roll. So it's just amazing. Now, we got the whole beach, and the boys are actually looking out for it. I hope this is the result of the abuse that we had last week in relation to the acid masons of the baby pool. And again, I actually hope we do Wally Weeks pool at the same time when the Bobcats here. So it's really looked after an asset, a major asset of Bondi with thousands of people talk to at the north end of the park and use these facilities. And it's good to see the Labor Council pulling the proverbial out. And God bless the guys who work at Council, absolute legends. Uh, well done. Okay guys, so now we're down for the asset maintenance of the cleaning, which is really good. All the sand's being pushed out through here. All that sand is coming up from here. So when we're talking about the frequency of maintenance, yes, they do have a maintenance plan in play, but is it staggered correctly? It's the off season now. School's gone back and we have a look at it. And they're doing a good job. Again, you can't bag the guys in Waverley. It's just the maintenance issue. So we've got the sand all the way down through here. It's coming through really good. We're girding it all up, which is the outlet, which the water goes out through there. We were told never to go there because you get sucked in. Okay. And again, you look at the, the asset maintenance of the uh, of it, the, of the concrete. It's starting to see better days. You see this ramp through here, <laughs> it's been there since I was actually a kid. You see the blue bottles on it now. You see this, again, this railing which is damaged. Okay, which the guys are doing a really good job in getting all this sand out. And look, we now work into the, the, the Wally Weeks side of the pool where Wally will be turning in his grave. Because again, this asset's been cleaned, but the next asset is just as important. I would think we've got the uh, tactiles there for any slip. We're coming down into here, but now we've got the sand. Now, is it a pool or a beach? I don't know. But you look at this level through here to where it is now, and the outlet, there's a lot of sand in here. Now, again, the outlet's just over here. We'll go for a walk. It used to be through here, which is just a... Turn the clock off. Work it through there. And they came out here. But again, we'll have to have a look at that because it seems to be non-operational. Again, we got the ropes. And the damage and the depth. There used to be all forms of sea life in here. It was a young person's paradise to learn to skin dive. You put your mask on, you see the sea anemones, you see all the toads, the mullets, the mado in here. But when you look at this level where I am now, and you look at how much sand's in here, why? Where is the maintenance plan for Wally Weeks? Again, seems like it's been quite a while through here. Wally, what do you think? Talk to me from the grave. Again, a lot of sand. They say it's a natural rock pool. Well, it's not a natural rock pool, it's man-made. So if it's man-made and it's a council asset on an asset maintenance plan, there should be a plan to actually maintain this pool. What's the difference between this pool and that pool. None of them to the Australian standard. None at all. It's just that the baby pool gets done, but again, look how, look how high I am. And I said the capacity level, when you look at the capacity level of this pool, <laughs> at the best of days, it's standing only. You used to be able to do laps in here in the morning. The old girls used to come out and do the laps as well, side to side, can't do it now. Look how high I am compared to the, the rock. You probably have, what, half a metre of coverage of water over this, over this sand, and then you go into the deepest area, and that's it. It used to be all the way through. It used to be all the way through. 
here again. Well, and the water. Remember, this is now up near up near to the the wall level of the pool, and we go all the way through here, and hopefully, the sand siltation will be taken out. Wally Weeks was uh, he actually built this pool, and he'd be turning in his grave if he saw the uh, the lack of maintenance within the pool uh, over the years. Again, it's not a, a, uh, anything on the Waverley Council boys. It's about the management of the infrastructure that Waverley needs to produce for a premium beach. So now we look at the we look at the different levels here now, sand levels. Look at the sand that they took out of the baby pool, and they're nearly three quarters of the way through. Where is the natural outlet for this sand to go? If it's blocked down that back end there. Where does this go? How do we clean this out? That's the question. It is an asset. We are the crew, old school crew, anti and stuff on the Skates in the hoods, Bates Milk Bar where we meet, Phallus Milk Bar where we play. Chim surf shakes are super thick, burgers, chips, Bondi life can't be beat. Stack life in flow Each wave takes us where we go Feel the rhythm of the tide Bond by love we can't hide Every corner, every street Bond by memories can't be beat Old school crew, that's who we are Bond by pride, near and far No one else can take In the sand, night so clear, Bondi breeze, feel it near. Surfboard stack life in flow, each wave takes us where we go. Feel the rhythm of the tide, Bondi love we can't hide. Every corner, every street, Bondi memories can't. In the sun 